What are your goals and expectations for the upcoming 2014 season? Well, we've talked to the team and the coaching staff about this and, and the things that we want to try to accomplish in the 2014 season. And we definitely just want to keep trying to climb the ladder. Um, our our in-conference schedule is very competitive and we just want to continue to keep rolling along with those changes and, and continue to bring better players in so that we can be more competitive and see some postseason play. We definitely saw and got a taste of it last year um, with traveling to Mary Washington, but we want to just continue to lengthen our season and get to that postseason play so we can become a name that's respected and feared almost in, in the CAC and out of conference as well. So we just want to continue to fight the good fight and make sure that we're doing the best we can to bring in great recruits and maintain quality athletes, keep everyone healthy. Um, injuries were a big problem for us last year, so definitely on the strength conditioning side of things, we're taking it up a notch and making sure that we're more hands-on in the maintenance of our athletes and keeping them healthy, getting into nutrition as well. So just maintaining a full roster that's healthy, willing, and able um, throughout the 2014 season. Who are your key losses from a year ago? We had a large graduating class last spring um, with nine players leaving us, um, including a junior that graduated early and an inter international player from England. Um, so Caitlin Kessiker, junior that graduated a year early, um, definitely a key loss for us. She was our center draw specialist, um, a very tall athletic player and a great leader on the field. Um, also another key loss for us um, comes in Taylor Cassett, who was um, an all-conference midfield midfielder for us. Um, definitely a player that you, you can't replace. She was one of those players that would just exhaust herself on the field. Um, she definitely led by example, showing the younger ones that it can be done and that just kind of displaying that attitude that she didn't care who we played. It didn't matter what color the jersey was. On the opposing side, she was going to go as hard as she could um, for as long as she could. So that was definitely a big loss for us. And then, of course, um, we were sad to see Naomi Swan go. Um, definitely a surprise when I first took the position here. She was second string goalie, worked her way up, put in the time, put in the effort, um, and worked her way up into the starting position. Made some really big saves and caused caused some big upsets in, in the conference as well as out. So definitely losing that leadership in the cage on the defensive end of things um, is something that we're looking to fill those, those shoes immediately. Who are your key returners for the upcoming 2014 spring season? We're namely excited to welcome back um, our returners from the midfield. Um, we have Mallory Brunette returning to us, um, who was a draw specialist for us after a season-ending ACL injury. So we're very excited to get her back. She's been rehabbing very well and is almost at 100%. So she'll be back on the field for us this spring. We also have returning second team defender Jessica Jones, who will also be joining her on the circle and is a draw specialist this year. Um, Jessie just has a great light about her, a great attitude that we're really excited to welcome back. Um, she is great with all the younger players as well, um, and she's a great leader on the field, leading by example and always being positive. So we're very happy to get that energy from Jesse coming back this year. We also have Megan White returning to us, who will be looking to be a key goal scorer for us. Um, a very aggressive attacker, very smart player, very athletic, um, and also with a great attitude. Um, I believe that she will be in contention for our, one of our captain spots this spring as well. And we also have um, returning defensive midfielder Ellie Garner returning to us. Um, she and Megan are very similar on the field, however, um, Megan is more offensive minded whereas Ellie excels more on the defensive end of the field. However, they will be looking to flip flop this year and get a taste of um, the opposite sides of the field, which will only help us more because they'll be kind of getting that experience on both ends of the field so we can plug them into to situations where we need to so they can help us out. So we're really looking forward um, to the returners coming back to the midfield, helping us, as well as trickling that talent in on both, both ends of the field to have some success. Now we touched on losses and, and returners. Talk a little bit about your key newcomers. Very excited about the freshman class we have coming in. Um, we have a great group of young ladies as well as athletes coming in for us that have really just joined the family right away. Um, there was really no kind of awkward moment where they weren't gelling on the field. They became friends off the field right away. So um, I'm really happy and pleased to see that this class of newcomers has really just integrated themselves into the family already. Um, 
We have a great pair of midfielders joining us in Megan and Molly Hart, twin sisters from Howard High School. So we'll be looking to see them on both ends of the field this year, scoring goals as well as helping out in the midfield. Um, and they're polishing up their defensive skills as well. We also have a great freshman goalkeeper coming to join us that will be fighting for cage time this year um, in Dylan Tettlebaum. She's a goalkeeper from Long Island and she's won several state championships at her high school Bayshore. Um, a great young lady um, with a lot of direction, a lot of skill. So we're looking forward to seeing what she can do in the cage for us this year. Um, and we also have some great defenders coming in as well. Um, Imani Bird and Alyssa Barlow are two defenders that I personally feel are, in, are going to be in contention for Rookie of the Year votes this year. Both very, very aggressive players, very skilled, um, and definitely their attitudes, and they have a hunger um, to take the ball from somebody. So we'll be seeing a lot of that this spring as well. What are your thoughts on your schedule, both in and out of CAC play this spring? Well, again, that's something that we've talked about as a family as well already um, coming into the first few practices here this week. We definitely want to pull some upsets and tie up some loose ends. Last year we had a couple of tough losses, namely with um, losing to Goucher by one goal, um, losing to St. Vincent by one goal as well, actually two. Um, but those are some teams that we're definitely looking to uh, end the contracts with a win. The girls are very adamant about kind of getting that redemption this year um, out of conference and with our newcomers um, combined with, with the healthy players we have coming back from injuries, it's extremely possible. So we're looking forward to that. In conference, um, it's pretty well known that women's lacrosse in the CAC is a very competitive um, game, a very competitive conference, especially with the addition of Christopher Newport coming in. They're going to be a team that are going to be testing York, Mary Washington, and Salisbury for that postseason play and the postseason ranking. Um, so we're just looking to, again, climb the ladder in the CAC, remain competitive, um, do our homework as far as scouting reports are concerned so that we can get the wins and, and get into the postseason as well.